welcome to a brand new video. My name is Lauren, if you haven't met me before. If you have, welcome back. If you are new and you'd like to join the family, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Simple as that, you'll be part of the family. So I'm just gonna address the fact you can see the ring light in my glasses and it's really annoying me too, so if it's annoying you, I'm really sorry. I am only using the ring light for this intro, so it's not gonna be an issue in the rest of the video. If it even is an issue for everyone else, maybe I'm just overthinking, I don't know. Today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. Why not kick off the Christmas videos on the channel? with a nice little fun one and it's just an excuse to eat absolute crap for 24 hours. Okay so I did a little bit of shopping, box down the hot chocolate but I bought some marshmallows as well so that I can put them in my hot chocolate. So most people that do this video tend to start it in the morning so they can have a Christmas themed breakfast, lunch, dinner and so on but am I awake of a morning? It's a simple answer, no. It's literally half four in the afternoon, so the first Christmassy themed meal is going to be my tea or dinner or whatever you want to call it. And I go to my nan's every single Friday and we have a roost. So a roost, Christmas dinner. I'd say that's Christmas themed, so that is the first meal. So I'll vlog a little bit in my nan's later, probably. For breakfast tomorrow, I got some reindeer crumpets, which I thought were really cute. I was looking for Christmas tree ones, but didn't have any, so reindeers will have to do. I'm going to try and persuade my mum and dad to go to McDonald's tomorrow for lunch, just so I can get something from that Christmas menu, because I didn't actually pick up anything for lunch. I don't really eat lunch anyway, to be honest, so maybe for tea. Next thing I picked up was this selection box, which I thought was a little bit different, because it's not actually all chocolate. I mean, it is all chocolate apart from one thing in it, but and animal bars just hold a sentimental place in my heart because my nan always used to buy animal bars and me and our Leighton would always have animal bars when we went to nan's so I saw this and I was like okay we have to have that because I haven't had one in years I have such a sweet tooth so I picked up another sweet thing my friend April did this video and she had these in hers and I was like I have to try them we're blowing April for these ones so I'm really excited to try them thanks for the recommendation April <laughs> The last sweet thing I got, I just couldn't resist because I'd never seen them before and I love chocolate and I love gingerbread. Cadbury's have brought out a Dairy Milk Winter Gingerbread Edition bar, so I just couldn't say no. I don't know how it'll taste. We'll soon find out, won't we? And then drinks wise is obviously hot chocolate and I also picked up these. I got a six pack of G2O Glitterberry literally the nicest things ever. My mum doesn't like them, she thinks they're too sweet, but me with my sweet tooth I really like them. And to top it off, it's actually got glitter in. Like, if you shake it, can you see it? Yes, you can. Ah. So that is everything I bought. Whether I'll actually eat all of it, I don't know, because I have a really small appetite. <laughs> Maybe I would just try a little bit of everything. So that is all of the food and drink that I bought. I'm going to go and edit this intro and drink my really, really cold hot chocolate. <laughs> Good morning. Even though it is definitely not the morning while I look rough. I woke up about half an hour ago. Breakfast. We can finally open the reindeer trumpet. So I think I'm just going to have, I don't know if you can even hear me speaking over that rustling. I think I'm going to have two with butter and jam. Don't judge me for butter and jam. It's a good combo. I also haven't watched back the footage from my nan's with the roast dinner. So I don't know if you've seen the roast dinner or not by now. But yeah, we did have a roast dinner for tea which I class as Christmassy. Basically slept half the challenge I have and I because breakfast should have been about four hours ago. I really need to get back into a routine. I can't make my mind up whether they're the scariest thing I've ever seen or the cute. <laughs> Skinny. <laughs> what made up tree? <laughs> I haven't had crumpets for so long. I don't even know if I like crumpets, but it was really hard to find a breakfast food that was actually Christmas themed, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so it's a bit late in the day now, so we're gonna 
all dry a square of this, aren't we? <laughs> We've got the same setup as last week's video now. Oh, yeah. We are going to try Dairy Milk's Winter Gingerbread Dish and Bar. Yeah, I can do it. Right. I should have put it in the fridge. Was it? it was, but I took it out last night. It's all crumbled. Right, you try that bit. That's the big bit for me. We'll all try it at the same time, so I'm gone. Three, two, one. It's like a bush took a trial. Mm, I don't like that. Now do I. I don't really like ginger flavoured stuff. I like ginger people though. It tastes more cinnamon. I can't say cinnamon. it now. I can't, I can't say it. Cinnamony. Cinnamony now. It's a little bit dark, but we're about to go and get tea. So quick outfit of the day, because we're not going to the drive through so we actually have to get dressed. Got a pretty little thing hoodie. My red and black teddy bear coat. Then black ankle boots and leather leggings, of course. I'm gonna give an outfit of the day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm vlogging on my phone because I feel awful getting my camera out, but this is on the Christmas menu, the jerk chicken sandwich, medium, um, oh, what you said. and yes, I'm about to take pretty much everything. <laughs> oh, pepper jack cheese, I don't know if I'd like that. Okay, I'll try the cheese, and I'm going to get a mini McFlurry. If I get cheese, the fish to share as well, because they're technically the Christmas menu. They are fish for the wife. Yeah, my mum gets a filly of fish. I can't believe you get a filly of fish. <laughs> I wonder if I'll actually like it. Probably will. <laughs> it's not the chips here. What are you doing? I'm bending it so you can open it. Oh. Yeah, I can really do it one handed. It smells nice. Let's try it. I took pretty much everything off it so cheese, bacon, and chicken, and then the sauce. Hello, so it is the next day now. I didn't actually get to finish the video and I'll explain why in a second. But I just thought I'd do a quick outro now because I couldn't just really end it in Mackie's because it was being really, really random. So if you watch the channel regularly or you just knew me in person, you will know about emetophobia. And I feel like everyone's probably sick of me talking about it now, but honestly, I am sick of living with it. So I'm gonna carry on spreading awareness until it's just common nature for everybody in the world to know what emetophobia is because I am so sick of it. Ironic, I just use that word. But basically, I wanted to do this challenge for two reasons. One, because it was a bit of fun for Christmas and two, because I have been struggling with eating quite a lot since I came back from Bath. So I thought I could do this challenge. I was like, I'm in control of what I'm eating. Like I bought all the stuff. I knew it was all completely safe. When I started actually filming it and knew that I had to eat for the video kind of thing, my brain was like a bit everywhere just because I can't really plan ahead when I'm going to eat because I don't know how anxious I'm going to be or like I don't know it's just really unpredictable so I didn't think this video would be so much of a issue the crumpets in the morning literally like I didn't finish them after a great start but I didn't want to keep updating throughout the day being like oh yeah I couldn't finish this or like oh I ate this so I just kind of like aside when we went to mcdonald's um i knew that it was going to be difficult because i'd never had the jerk chicken sandwich before and i was like trying a new food is obviously going to be like a big step but i didn't think it'd be so hard to be honest so after that i just i couldn't eat anything else last night so i've still got quite a lot of the christmasy foods that i bought so i'm just going to put them away for christmas and i basically learnt my lesson not to do any eating challenges again because it just puts extra unnecessary stress on me and my appetite. I've literally had the worst day of <laughs> everything in my life has been like perfectly fine today but just me, my brain, I'm just so done with today and I'm so done with last night and yeah. So I do want to try these the Frosted Fancies that April mentioned just because I was really excited when I saw them in Asda and I just really wanted to try them so sorry for like ending this festive video on such like a crap note basically but I don't know like I said a few videos back that I wanted to make my channel more like 
open and honest and I also see my channel as like a bit of a diary so I can look back in the future and hopefully I'm a bit better. Surely it's got to get better than this, like I'm just so tired. So I just thought I would mention this because it is a part of my life and I didn't want the end of the video to just be crap even though this is kind of crap because I've just completely killed the festive spirit. But I am also going to do a video on ways to like manage mental health at Christmas and like through the festive season because I know for me that I kind of struggle with the whole like happy Christmas and having to be like or like festive and cheery. I shared something on Instagram earlier and it basically was a post by a like positivity account saying like mental illness does not take a break for Christmas and I was like that is what I mean. I find Christmas like a really difficult time of the year for both emetophobia and just my moods in general and for the mood side of it I don't even really know why to be honest. Who'd have thought that doing a little fun Christmas challenge would end up in me not being able to function the next day. So yeah, I am going to try one of the Mr. Kipling Frosted Fancies. Before I do, I just want to say thank you for watching if you got this far. Apologies again for the really like depressing end to the video. Last night I was so determined to just carry on and just like even just act up to the camera to be like, yeah, I'm eating Christmas foods and I was like, no, like I want to be honest and truthful and I also have some new followers and subscribers that I know for a fact also suffer with emetophobia so I just want to be raw and honest for them as well kind of thing like I obviously don't have to because it's up to me why I share but I don't know so yeah, I am going to enjoy one of these Frosted Fancies. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, it means so much to me. And hopefully the next Christmas video will be a little bit more cheery all the way through. If you'd like to join the family, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to. Very good. Bye. <laughs>